Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. My name's Joe Wicks and this is a full body strength workout. The focus today is all about slow, controlled reps, lifting as heavy as you can with good form and good technique. Now I've got two pairs of dumbbells here, a heavy set which is 16 kilograms and a slightly lighter set of 14 kilograms. So I think I might have to drop at some point because what we're gonna do is rather than work for a set amount of time together, we're actually gonna do a set number of reps. So there's 10 exercises, the first round we're going to do will be 8 reps per move. Second round will be 10 reps and the final round is 12. So 8, 10, 12, building on that strength, building that endurance and obviously at some point I might need to drop to the lighter weight, so that's why I've got them there. Pick a weight that's going to challenge you, we're going to stick together. So rather than rush ahead and do the reps ahead of me, let's try and do them together at the same tempo. Um, there's no kind of timers and clocks bit beeping and buzzing. So first exercise, picking up one of your heaviest dumbbells, we're going to go nice and close to the chest. Feet nice and wide, turn that like a sumo. I'll just demo it quickly. And we're gonna drop down nice and slowly. Okay, driving his heels into the floor. Stand up tall, squeeze the quad, squeeze the glutes. That's one rep, so we're gonna do eight sumo squats, okay? Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So control tempo, slowly down, drive those knees out. Stand up tall, good, one. We're doing eight reps together. Squeeze the quads and glutes at the top, two. Good, nice tempo, a little control in it on the way down as well, three. Good. Four. So eight's the goal here. Five. Keep this tempo, stay with me. Six. It's gonna get much tougher as we go through this workout. Seven, final rep. Big squeeze at the top. And relax, perfect. We're now gonna grab the second dumbbell. So again, keeping the heavies if you can. One dumbbell on each hand. We're now gonna target the hamstrings and glutes by doing what's known as an RVO, Romanian deadlift. So rather than it going right to the ground, what that means is we're going to stick our bum out, stretch forwards, feel the stretch in the hamstrings, squeeze and pull up. We need target in the hamstrings and glutes. Okay, here we go, so eight reps. So lean forward, nice straight back, as low as you can go, stretch those hamstrings and pull up. Good. One rep. Same again, squeeze, stretch. Two. Really think about using your posterior chain here, your hamstrings. Three. And the goal here again is eight reps for this first round. Four. So with these sort of muscles, you need quite heavy weights. Six, just don't let backs, uh, you know, arch and roll over. Seven, last rep. Squeeze those hamstrings and rest perfect. Let's put those down for a second. So again, we target the quads, we'll just hit the hamstrings and glutes. We're now gonna really go for the front again, hitting these quads with some front squats. So again, one dumbbell on each hand, rack them up. So rather than turn the feet out wide, try and get a bit narrower, a bit more parallel. Eight front squats, are you ready? Three, two, one, so sit down low, stand up tall, good. One rep, and again, front squats, good, two. Three, slow rep, come on, control it. Stay with me if you can with the tempo, four. Five, six, last two. Seven, drive through the heels, last rep. And relax. Okay, dumbbells down. Give those legs a shake off. Obviously, that's three leg exercises back to back. We've now got three upper body moves. We're now going to do some shoulder press, straight into some bicep curls, then into the, onto the ground for some push ups. So, you might want your heavies, you might want your lighter ones. It's going to be eight shoulder press. Here we go. So, one dumbbell on each hand. Are you ready? Come on, let's push. One, and down. Two. Yeah, these 16s are going to challenge me today. Three, tens, uh, eight's the rep, eight reps here. Four, uh, really press up, come on. Five, ooh, these are heavy. Six, uh, last two, seven, final rep. Eight, and down right. Okay, but now for a few seconds, check those arms. So again, we're hitting the shoulders. We're now going to target the biceps with obviously 16, but eight in total. Eight reps on each side, targeting the bicep, rotate as you come up. Are you ready? So, we're going to go alternating left to right. Let's go. So, curl. One. One. Two. Good. Stay with me on tempo. Come on. Two. So, we're really controlling it. Three. Three, four, five, 
that and then the full bends. Five, four, six, six, two on each side, seven, four, seven, last two, eight, and eight, well done. Okay, dumbbells down. So again, at strength training, it means that you've got to be putting some real resistance through your arms. You can't be banging out light, light dumbbells and not feeling a burn. You'll need struggle. And those last sort of two or three reps of the set should be a struggle, but you should still have to control it. It should be tough. That's where the strength comes. Okay, so now we've got some push ups. Again, if you can, full body push ups. If not, from the knees, you can either go slow and controlled from the knees or off the knees. I want to see chest to floor and full extension. Are you ready? Eight reps. Let's go. Chest to floor. And up. Good. Let's go together. One. Two. Good. Come on. Chest to floor. Three. These are lovely push ups. Four. Keep the abs engaged. Abs engaged. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Last rep. Chest to floor. Full extension. And rest, brilliant. Lovely press up, really good form. Abs are engaged, chest and shoulders are working. Which works so many muscles, a really good move. That's so just shake the arms a little bit, have a little rest. We're now going back onto our legs. What we're going to do now is actually going to be some reverse lunges. So we're going to be holding, I'm going for the heavies. So I'm going to get my 16s. And what we're going to be doing here is left foot forwards first, right leg back. And we're gonna do pulsing reps, okay? So we're gonna drop that back knee down like this. So we're gonna go down and up, okay? So it's eight of those, ready? Let's go. So down and up, good, one. So left foot forward, two, one, three, four, five. Lovely, control these reps, come on. Six, seven, and eight, well done. Same thing, let's go straight in. Right foot forward, left leg back. Nice shoulders, uh, straight back shoulders. Pull back, let's go. Drop down, lovely. One, two, three, good. Shoulders back, chest up. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, well done. We've got to give those arms a rest. Hang on to some 16, these arms work. Okay, shake those up. That's eight moves complete. Two more to go. Then we're gonna have a little rest and we'll go back through for our second round, which will be 10 reps. So it's gonna get a little bit tougher, but even those eights are quite challenging. Okay, so next exercise. What we're gonna do now is a floor press. So heavy weights. We're gonna have feet on the floor, knees bent. I'll just demonstrate quickly what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do a narrow floor press. So we're gonna have elbows tucked into the body. So I'm not rotating the dumbbells, they're just coming straight down. So tuck them in, press up. So elbows tucked in and just drive them straight up. Okay, ready for eight reps, here we go. Tuck them in, elbows at the floor, press up, good, that's one rep. Again, slow them right down. Two reps. Three. And if you come back and do this exercise, you know, it's worth in a few weeks. Try and lift a bit heavier if you can. Oh, I think I've lost count. That's five, maybe. Six. Seven. Eight. And rest. Oh. I don't know if I missed counting, did I? I can't talk and count at the same time. Right, number 10, final move in the circuit. We're now gonna do some bent over rows. So again, I'm sticking these heavies for now. What I wanna see is a slight bend in the hips. So lean forwards, so don't arch the back. So basically just taking that angle as far as you can. And from there, you're gonna squeeze up and then down, okay? So really retract the shoulder blades. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's get pull up, one. Slowly lower, good. Squeeze up, two, and down. Three, four, control reps, 
five, and slowly down, six, last two, seven, one more big squeeze up, squeeze, and lower, well done, right, dumbbells down, there we go, brilliant first set, now that was challenging for those 16s, I'm going to try and stick with them if I can, I think I'm going to struggle with the shoulder press, but so we're now going to go through those same exercises, but leveling up again for 10 reps. So we've done our eight, we've got 10, then the final round will be 12. So if, again, if you need to adjust your weights, now's a good time. We'll have another minute to recover, and then go back in for our second round. So it's nice time to slow things down. Hasn't got to be hit 100 mile an hour every time. I think control, like more tempo, more time and attention, you really build strength. So have a little stretch we need to. Oh, that was good, good little warm up for me. But yeah, this, for me the hardest was the, the shoulder press and the curls, the legs were kind of okay, but great start, well done. Can we get through the second round together? Same kind of energy, but same control, even with those extra couple of reps. So the, you know, those, that, that ninth and tenth rep, you know, whatever it may be, if it's a curl or a press, and it should be a struggle, but you don't want to be compensating by you know, arching your back or, or bouncing up on strict form, good technique, and really controlled tempo. So we're going back in now, yeah? So picking up the dumbbell, the heavy one, we've now got our sumo squats for 10 reps. Here we go, nice wide stance. Three, two, one, hug that dumbbell to the chest. We go down, low as we can, stand up, good, one. Nice big breath. Two. Three, come on, strong reps. Four, even slower. Slow, slow, slow. Five, halfway. Six. Seven, I feel it's in the glutes now. Eight, last two reps. This is two more than we did last time. Final rep. Rest. Okay, dumbbells down for a second. Take the arms off and then do the RDL. So again, one dumbbell on each hand. Stretch those hamstrings. Pull posterior. Are you ready? Let's go heavy as if you can. Heavier set. 10 reps. Three, two, and one. So stretch those hamstrings and pull back. Good. One, two, three. So nice straight back. Hamstrings, four, oh, five, halfway, six, seven, stick your bum out, eight, nine, final rep, stretch those hamstrings, and four, good work. Okay, dumbbells down. You will feel your lower back kicks in, I can feel that tighten up a little bit. It's quite normal, it is working those muscles too. What you just don't want to do is avoid, you know, arching and curving that back. You want to keep that nice neutral spine, load the hammies and pull. Okay, these front squats will be tough now. We've got 10 heavy front squats. So one dumbbell on each hand. Let's just kicking that forward. Right, you ready? So wrap them up, front rack position, but we're not turning our feet out. Try and go a bit more parallel. And we're going to drop down as low as we can. Here we go. So we're down and drive up. Good. One rep. Two. One. Three. Slow reps. Four. Five. Six. Come on, deep squats. Seven. This is tough. Eight. Last two. Nine. And oof. ten. Cool, yeah, you can really feel it. Putting so much through your back, your lats. Because when they're in the front back position, obviously able to really retract your shoulder, get your back working, your abs engaged. Tough, tough front squat that. Okay, have a little breather. So I'm going to do 10 to the 16. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So if I have to put it my heavy, just to be honest. You ready for it? 
So shoulder press. <coughs> 10 reps stripped. Let's go. Okay, one. Come on, Joe. Two. Let's go. Let's go. Three. Uh, four. Five. And these are getting really tough for me now. Six. Really tough. Seven. Come on. Eight. Last two. Big push now. These are the strength reps. And these are the ones that count. Nine. This is a little strength session. Ugh. Oh. So everything up to that point. Everything up to eight was like what my body could do. So nine and ten. That's the challenge. That's pushing through. That's where the strength comes. It's those last couple of reps. But a little bit of extra weight. Oh. We're going for the bicep curls, remember. This is 10 now, so 20 in total. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So curling, controlled. One. One, one, good. Two. Ah. Two. Control yourself, control the weight. Come on, pull it up, curl. Three, we're in the biceps. Three. Four. No. Four. Five. This is a very effective session. Five. Five. I get halfway. Oh, these are feeling very heavy. Six. Six. Come mirror my tempo, yeah? Mirror my tempo. Seven. And down. Seven. And down. Eight. Ah. Okay, these are the two killers now. These are the finishes. Come on. Nine. Nine. Final rep. Ten. And ten. Oh, that was a struggle. Well done. That was a struggle. So remember, if you think the weights are too light, and you go, this just is not challenging me. Maybe time to invest in a couple of new dumbbells. You know, two kilo more, four kilo more. To really push through the barrier and progress. Principle of overload, progression. If you lift the same reps, same weights for months, not a lot changes. If you come in every month with one extra rep, two extra reps, or a little bit of, you know, a kilo more, a few pounds extra, that's when the body starts to change shape. Honestly, it's amazing. Strength training is incredible for building muscle and physique. Right. Okay, so 10 push up. Here we go. So I'm going to my hands just inside the mat, lift myself up, here we go, 10 reps, down, and up, good, one, two, slow with me, come on, three, slow with me, come on, slow, four, five, nine, six, press up, good, seven, Come on, we hit eight before. Eight, and these last two are the ones now. Big press up. Nine, last push. Ten. Oh, lovely stuff. Perfect technique. And if you drop into the knees for the last couple, that's fine, because it's better to be doing press ups from the knees going down with control than it is being up here trying to you know, do half reps. So go into the knees if you need to. Right, back onto the legs now. So again, heavies. I'm putting any of the thought into the last round's best. But I'm going to stick with these for now. Left leg forward, right leg back. Drop that back knee to the floor if you can, all the way to the floor. Let's go. Down and up. Good. One. Good. Two. Shoulders back. Three. Four. Okay, let's control it. Five. That front leg's working now. Six, seven, eight, come on, nine, last rep, ten, okay, straight into it, yeah? Right foot forward, left leg back, let's go, hold on to those weights, let's go, drop down, one, two, come on, three, 
close to the body, so tuck them in, elbows down, and press. That's one. Oof. Two. Oof. Three. You'll feel this work in your chest and triceps. Four. Five. Oof. Press not going. Six. Oof. Seven. Last three, tuck them in. Eight, nine, last rep. And down. Oh. Ooh. That was graft. Up on our feet, number 10. We've got the bent over rows, remember? If the weight got too heavy or too light, time to adjust. Shake the arms off a sec. Okay, so one double on each hand. I'm going to stick that bum forward, stick the bum out, lean forward, get that hinge of the hip, and then pull. Let's go. One, two, three. Good, squeeze them up. Come on. Four, five, uh, six, seven. Come on, pull them. Eight. Back muscles now, come on, back muscles. Nine, last rep. Ten, and down. Oh, I tell you what, it's a full body workout. We're working every muscle, the shoulders, chest, triceps, the back, the legs are getting worked. Right, I'm really happy with that. We're now gonna have a one minute break from now, one minute from now. And then we're gonna go again for the third round which is going to be 12. And then 8, 10s, 12s. So we're pushing it a little bit harder each time. Those extra reps, as I said, makes a difference. It builds strength. You're doing great. So I'm going to stick with them for now. I've got a feeling, shoulder press, and the bicep press, I'm putting the drop down to 14. So bear that in mind, if you need to drop, it's fine. I'd rather have good technique than be wobbling and put, you know, put myself in my mind into myself. So I'm gonna stick with these for the first couple of moves. Legs are feeling all right, it's just the, the shoulders and chest. Right, doing great. This is strength training, this is the tough stuff, type of stuff I love doing. I do the hit stuff, I do slow, you know, slow strength stuff, I mix it up and I, I do a bit of everything. So let's go, so heavy dumbbell, single, remember this is the sumo squat. We've done our 10s, we're now into our 12 reps. Two extra through the legs, you ready? Okay, so dumbbell against the chest. Final round, nice and wide. Drive those feet into the ground, knees driven out. Let's go. Good to come down and come up. Good, how low can you go? One, two, hug the dumbbell, keep it close to your chest. Three, four, good, let's not rush them. Five. Six. We build strength on the way down as well, you know, so we build strength on the lower end of seven, as well as the yeah, coming up. Eight. Nine. Okay, ten we done before. These are the last two, ready? Now we work. Eleven. Final rep. Twelve. Ah. Oh. Cool, I can really feel that in the glutes. Act if you squeeze at the top. Reactivate your glutes. So, I'm gonna get the target hamstrings down. I'm sticking with these 16s. Uh, that's a good session, I'm enjoying this. Feeling good, feeling strong. So, RDL, ready? One done on each hand. Feet in line. 
Stick the bum out, load the hamstrings, so stretch them and pull up good. One, stretch down and two. 12 to go here. Three, stretch. Four, you might get the stretch just below the knees. Five, we've got to go right the way down to the floor. Huh. Six, seven. Definitely feel it working though. Eight, nine. Come on, stay together. Ten, last two. Eleven. One more big stretch. Big stretch and pull. Twelve, and rest. Right, yeah, I'm gonna drop to the. I'm drop for the. Oh no, look, front squats. I'll stick with them for the front squats. Then I'll drop to the lights for the shoulders. Okay, you ready for these front squats? Rack them up. Heavy dumbbells, one in each hand. And the front squat, parallel feet. We're not trying to turn them out this time. We want to load the quads. Quad dominant, okay? So parallel feet. Let's go. Let's drive, good. One. Two. Three, good, control it. Stay with me, come on. Four, drive those knees out. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ah, all right, ten. These two now, drive for the hills, drive for the hills. Last rep. Oh, they really take it out of those front spots because like everything's having to like contract through here to stop you topping forward. Ah. That's the one that gets my heart rate up. Right, that's a little breather. So I'm dropping the weights now. For these 12 dumbbell shoulder press and the little curls. Okay. Oh, it's done me in that last one. Okay, rack them up. Get ready, 12's the goal. Let's push. One, two. Good press up, come on. Three. Four. Oh, that's a big number in it. Five. Mm. Six. Come on, you're strong enough for this. You can do this, Joe. Seven. Come on, last set. Eight. Nine. Nine. I managed ten before. Come on. Ten. These are the two now. Press. Press up. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. Oh. And rest. Oh. 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 I've just come back from a shoulder injury and about a month ago I was doing tens, struggling with that. It does feel good to see the progress that I'm managing to 14s and 16s. It's amazing. Strength does come quite quick when you're progressing, you know. You'll hit a ceiling, I'm not going to be like 18s, 20s, 22s if you hit us. You do hit a bit of a plateau, but the initial weeks of the strength program you'll start to feel some real gains, it feels great. Okay, 14s, we've now got curls. 12 reps. Ready, let's go. One, two, I'm gonna count 24 on this. Three, four, five. Last set of curls. Six, seven. Come on, strong arms, let's go, build them up. Eight, nine, ten, halfway, no, nope. this is halfway, eleven, twelve, we go to twenty-four, come on, thirteen, fourteen, every muscle is working today, fifteen, you're doing great, keep it up, come on, sixteen, let's hit these reps together, seventeen, strong arms, eighteen, 19, ouch. Mm, 20. Oh, four more. 21. Come on, lift it. 22. Last two. 23. 24. Out. Oh, no more bicep curls. Oh. 
Okay, we've got push-ups. 12. Strong push-ups. Solid ones, yeah? Let's do these together. Sit on the knees is fine if you have to. But stick with me on the tempo. 12 reps. Let's go in three, two, one. Lift up. Let's go. Really lower down. And that's one. Stay with me. One. Two. Stay with me. Come on. Three. Last set. Four. Five. Come on, chest to floor. Six. Halfway. Seven. Eight. Ouch. Now they're hurting. Nine. We've done ten before, didn't we? These are the last two now, the rippers. Come on, strength builder. Eleven. Last rep. Ooh. Oh. Cool. Nearly hit failure there. Cracking two or three more and done me. On my me, me knees. Brilliant, well done, good strength. We're almost there now. Whew. Almost there, over halfway. In the circuit. Whew. Okay, I'm going to go back to the heavies for these lunges that we're doing. These static lunges. Okay, ready? Left foot forward, right leg back. 12 reps, three, two, one. Let's go drop down, stand up, good. One, two, Three, last set. Come on. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Push through the heel of that front foot. Nine. Drop the back knee down. Ten. Last two. Eleven. Twelve. All rest the same. Ah. Oh. That took the intensity up in that last two reps. Oh, it's been a good session. I like this time, this type of workout. A bit slower, a bit more considered. Right, right foot forward, left leg back. Let's go. Drop down. Good. One, two, three. Slow. Four, five. Six, come build the strength in this front leg now. Seven, eight, nine, ouch. Ten, last two. Eleven, and twelve. Oh, my forearms have gone. Struggle to hang on to their weights then. I've got the narrow press ups, number no, narrow dumbbell press. Up into the rows to finish. You ready? So one thumb on each hand, roll them up, head on the floor, back on the floor. Here we go. Right, so lower, down, press directly up. One, now we're tucked into the body. Good press. Two, come on, you're strong enough for this. You can do this set. Three, four, now we're tucked in. Five, Six, halfway, last set on this, come on. Seven, eight, oh, this feels so heavy now. Nine, come on, big six things. Ten, last two, come on, Joe. Big rig, let's go, big rig. Eleven, last one, press, and down. Oh. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, last one. Here we go, the finisher. Bent over rows. 12 reps. Squeeze. We've done a lot of pressing, so we think about pulling. We trap those shoulders back together. Are you ready? Pick them up. In three, two, one. Let's pull. Come on. One rep. Pull them into the hips. Two. Three, come on. Four, ah, five. Oh, they're heavy now, aren't they? Six, come on. Seven, pull them up. Pull them up. 
eight, nine, ten. Oh, these are hard. Last two. Pull. Eleven. One more rep to finish the session. And relax. Oh, wow, that's done me that is. Let me have a sit down on the old cell. Cool. I'm happy with that. Done in just over 35 minutes. Brilliant session. We really target every single muscle group there. Hope you enjoyed today's workout. Thanks for joining me. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe to the YouTube channel. I post a new workout every week. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, strength, all kinds of stuff, stretching stuff. If you want more support, check out the Body Coach app at thebodycoach.com. Get your meal plans, your training, all tailored to you to really help you get results. Either way, I'm here for you, whether it's on YouTube, over on Instagram, The Body Coach, or on the app. Good luck, keep training, have a lovely day, and thanks for joining me today. Take care.